Baseball Loneliness by David McFadden. Baseballs as multitudinous as raindrops pelt a log cabin in the middle of a meadow, as mellifluous as mellifluous as a dream, a deluge of flying baseballs increasing in intensity. The cabin seems about to implode. My meditations have been spoiled. I venture out to order the players to sit down and to try and enjoy the silence of the golden moment. But as soon as the screen door shuts, slams shut, the baseball bombardment comes to a halt. No one as far as the eye can see. A rainbow quivers over the hill. Silently I examine one of the balls. It turns out to be a shiny apple. I take a bite. Delicious looking, but terribly sour and full of worms. There is a set of bleachers at the edge of the woods. Kirby Puckett and Ricky Henderson are sitting there laughing at me as I fall to my hands and knees and vomit. My friends and I, when we were kids, would take up collections and draw straws to see who would get to go to the movies. And when the winner returned, he'd have to tell the others the plot in great detail. We were terrible kids who did terrible things to smaller kids and animals. Organized, organized sports was an anthema. We lied about everything, stole from stores, smeared butter on our hair and smoked speed. We formed little bands of nasty anarchists who remembered dialogue from all the movies. We were too cowardly to take base, basket, baseball, hockey, football, lacrosse seriously. Those other guys, the ones we hated, serious, serious about sports, they never lied. That is Baseball Loneliness by David McFadden.